Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this in the color Bora Purple to match my Galaxy Z Flip 4 also in Bora Purple. And the prices as of recording are $349.99 Canadian and $279.99 American. And if you want to, you know, jump to something in particular like battery life, for example, I do have timestamps in the description below. So I'm just gonna start off with the spec highlights because a lot of you might be wondering what this watch can do. So it has a 1.19 inch Super AMOLED display. It has a sapphire lens, very durable. It has touchscreen operation, a 20 millimeter watch band. Quoted battery life up to 40 hours, but it's not nearly as good. I will talk to you guys about that in the battery life section. It has built-in GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, basic watch features like alarms, timers, and stopwatch. It has Samsung Pay. It weighs 29 grams. You can view your smartwatch notifications on here, answer text messages, answer or deny phone calls. You can actually speak on the phone because it does have a built-in speaker. You can use a variety of apps as well. It does have advanced sleep tracking and it can track a variety of workouts such as running, yoga, walking, swimming. It has a water rating of up to five ATM or 50 meters. You can wear it in the pool, in the rain, in the shower. It tracks a variety of metrics such as your daily steps, calories burned, body composition, blood pressure, ECG, heart rate, stress monitoring, and more. Now, these are not all of the features about this smartwatch, but these are definitely the most important, I think. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me. And I do have a seven inch wrist. Now, I will say that this watch is very comfortable to wear. Um, the silicone is nice and smooth against my skin, and it's definitely pretty lightweight. But what do you guys think about the look of the watch here? It does have kind of an infinity band, but it does take advantage of having this little clasp here like we have in traditional watches, so I do like seeing that. So we have a Super AMOLED display here. One thing I do want to let you guys know is that it is quite reflective. So depending on kind of the angle you're looking at it, you can see, you know, a lot of reflection. So you might need to pump up the brightness to be able to read it clearly. But I do find it easy to read. It's nice and contrasting and we can see bright, bold, punchy colors. And this is what it looks like outdoors under some sunlight in natural lighting conditions. And when you're outdoors, it's definitely more reflective than indoors, more noticeably so. So I definitely recommend pumping up the brightness just to read it a bit easier or just keeping your watch on auto brightness. Once the brightness is high enough, you can definitely read it outdoors with no problem. But that's something I want to let you guys know because if you're outdoors for long periods of time and you have your brightness up, that is going to drain your battery life a lot faster. So another great thing about this watch, you also have the ability to increase or decrease the font size. You do have four options. It does not get massive, but I think some people would definitely find it more helpful to have a font size this big versus this big, which is what it comes preset with. This watch does have a coded battery life up to 40 hours. Now I will say you will get 40 hours if you literally have everything turned off, like Bluetooth turned off, brightness on super low, um, no Wi-Fi, and you're basically using it just as a watch, not using any features. <laughs> so that's not realistic for most people, definitely not for my usage. So with my uses, which are things like GPS walks, cycling, alarms, timers, and more, I have gotten 16 to 17 hours of battery life with this watch. And that's with me putting the brightness on dim. And honestly, it's been less than that at times. Um, you know, comparing this to the Galaxy Watch 4, I basically got the exact same battery life. Now, if I turn up the brightness higher or put on auto brightness, the battery life definitely goes down a lot more. I will say that if you are someone who does GPS activities like I do, that's gonna drain your battery life like crazy. So if you do get this smartwatch, you definitely have to charge it every single day. When you do go to charge this, you are using a magnetic charger and it charges within about an hour and 20 minutes um, from like 0% to full. So the charging time is decent. You don't have to wait super long for it to fully charge. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this watch. I'm gonna go over all the basics here. So the first thing you might wanna do is turn on the display. So if the display is turned off, you can go ahead and either press one of these buttons to turn on the display 
or you can go ahead and double tap the display. Now the third way that you can turn on the display is if you have it on your wrist, you can raise to wake, so turn it towards your face and the screen will light up. So once your display is on, you can go ahead and look at all your apps. So to do that, you are going to swipe right. For example here, I can go ahead and add some water. Now you could also press this button down here to go back, or you can swipe right and go back as well. And if you do press the top button up here, you are sent back to the home page. Another thing you can do is swipe right, and this is going to show you, um, you know, your last workout that you did. It's also going to show you any notifications that you do have. And then you can just clear everything when you're ready. If you go ahead and swipe down, you're going to see your shortcut menu. So here you can go ahead and customize, you know, things as you'd like. And then you can also find your settings here. And you can change, you know, whatever you need to change about the watch. Another thing you can do is swipe up. So if you swipe up, you're going to see all of your apps. So you can basically just download whatever apps you want to. Very much like a smartphone, you have a large variety of apps you can download. And I love having the calculator. <laughs> Sometimes math is not easy on the go and it's just nice to be able to punch this in really quickly. If I go ahead and hold the top button up here, that's gonna open up Bixby. What time is it? And then if I hold the back button here, you're opening up Samsung Pay. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you all the workouts on here. Bunch of different activities you can track guys, which is fantastic. And I'll just quickly keep scrolling to show you guys all of them on here for anybody interested. And hey, can I track that? Well, <laughs> you're going to see from me going through. And that's the end of the list. Also, um, when you guys are using this for GPS activities outdoor, I have found the GPS to be very reliable. I've had no issues with it. Um, it does take about a minute or two to connect, which is a little bit long um, for my liking, but it does work pretty well. If you do wanna have a larger variety of watch faces, you're gonna have to use the app for that, but I'll show you guys all the ones that I do have on here. So you're just gonna hold that and then you're gonna see all of your watch faces here and you can customize one if you wanna change the color, for example. I know a lot of people ask me about the colors of watch faces. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different color options. This one in particular has many, many colors that you can go through. Basically everything in the rainbow. So if you're someone who doesn't like purple, you have a lot of options. I just love purple, so you guys are probably noticed in most of my videos, my watch faces are purple. And if you want to go ahead and change it, if you have more installed, you can just swipe through everything that you have. And when you are ready to change it, you just click on it. When it does come to sleep tracking, your smart watch will track your sleep every night and it does have advanced sleep tracking. So what I mean by that is that it gives you a sleep score, it tracks your sleep stages, your light, deep REM, sleep and time awake. We can see the sleep score, 88%, and we can see the sleep time. And if I click on it to kind of go more into it, now we can see a little graph here and we can see the time I fell asleep and the time I woke up. And then here we could see the total time asleep, not accounting the time awake, and we could see your calories burned. And then here we could see all of the sleep stages, which were represented on that graph. You can also turn on blood oxygen during your sleep, but I don't do that because it kills your battery life, guys, but that is available to you if you do want that feature. When you wake up, you're just going to see this. You will not see any of the other information until you sync your watch to your phone. Your phone processes it and then it sends it back to your smartwatch. And I have found the sleep data to be decent. Um, I think it could be more accurate, especially when it comes to time awake. I find that it underestimates that. But honestly, if you're looking for just a basic general metric of how long did I sleep, I think it does do a pretty good job of that. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna be talking about women's health. So for my male viewers out there or anyone else who doesn't wanna see this, you can definitely go ahead and use my timestamps and skip to the next section. So when it comes to women's health, what you could see on the watch is very limited. Here's what we have on the watch, whatever stage you're in for your menstrual cycle. So on here, all you can see is like this little graph thing. And then if you want to, you can add some symptoms. 
but the symptoms are not in alphabetical order. They're not in order at all. They're just randomly, I don't know. It's just, I don't like the way that they do it, guys. It's just very uninspiring and it's just not a joy to use. So coming over to the app here, you can track, you know, daily symptoms. And personally, like, I don't love the way that this is laid out. It looks very basic. If you compare this to Garmin or Fitbit, just a lot better laid out. Um, <laughs> this is just a bunch of white text. It looks very boring and they lump it all together. So it's kind of easy to accidentally press something or miss something. All right, guys. So now I'm going to talk about the cons about this watch. Now, the first con for me that I've already touched on is the battery life. I do not like that the battery life on this watch is poor. It cannot go over a day. I couldn't even get it a full 24 hours. Um, and when I do, you know, GPS workouts, it doesn't even last like 12 hours for me. So battery life can definitely be improved. Another con for me is that with the design of this watch, we have this kind of like bezel-less design, but the bezel that we do have on the side of the watch here, um, I get stuff stuck in here all the time, like right in between these areas. When I say stuff, I mean like clothing. If I'm wearing like a cotton hoodie or a knit sweater, routinely just get stuck in here and they catch. And then I've woken up and had like some of my bed sheets like stuck in here and like a piece of it came out. So I don't know how it's even getting in there, but I wanted to let you guys know that that is something that you might run into as an issue. And it's something that I personally do find annoying um, because I don't have that happen with other smartwatches. It doesn't have the ability to process a bunch of data on its own. You do need your smartphone with you to process a lot of things. For example, with the sleep, your smartwatch cannot you know, analyze your sleep data itself. That has to be done with your smartphone. I will say that the blood pressure has never worked for me. I've tried it over 20 times, it just doesn't work. It will do the whole rating, but it won't show me the actual blood pressure data on my watch. So I don't know what's going on with that, but a lot of people have poorly rated the blood pressure app. It has like a one star. So I'm thinking there's a lot of issues with that right now. So if you're buying this for blood pressure only, that's something that might not work right off the bat for you. Once again, I would have just preferred if this smartwatch was smart enough to just analyze things on its own without needing your phone connected. All right guys. So considering the price, the quality, the color, the ease of use, the functionality, the performance, the battery life, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give it an 8.3 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Galaxy Watch 5, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. If you guys are wondering whether to get the Galaxy Watch 4, Galaxy Watch 5, if you need a screen that's more durable, like you're worried about your Galaxy Watch 4 scratching or breaking or something, um, this one does have sapphire glass, so it's a lot more durable in the display. But other than that, they're basically the same smartwatch. Like <laughs> for me, um, user experience, very similar, battery life, basically identical. The appearance, they look almost the exact same, just different color options. And yeah, like if I was to choose, I would choose this one because I love the color, but um, if it wasn't for the color, I would honestly go for the Galaxy Watch 4 because the experience is very, is very similar and you can just throw a screen protector on there. If the Galaxy Watch 4 is significantly cheaper in your area, I would just tell you to go get that watch because I don't see enough changes here that justify, you know, spending the extra price. That's just my opinion. It might be unpopular, but hey, um, that's my opinion on that. And if you guys are looking for a review on the Galaxy Watch 4 to learn more about that smartwatch, I have that at the top right for you and in the description below. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.